an opportunity to guys and Chelsea Manning, then you know what? They could come for my friend Jimmy Gore. They could come for me. They could come for anybody here. They could lock anybody up here. Any journalist here, they could come lock you up right now and just say, oh, terrorism, war crime, whatever nonsense they want to slap on you, they'll do it. And they'll do it without any hesitation. And you see how powerful their propaganda machine is. There are three news outlets, right? There's uh, AP, AFP, and Reuters. And they get their marching orders from the CIA and the Pentagon, and then they spread their information out to all these other news sources. So you see how effective it is? You saw when we walked down the streets. People, a lot of people down with what we're doing. Some people yelled out, oh, he's a rapist or he's a terrorist. They are literally repeating CIA talking points. If you think that's not effective, we just saw it walking down Market Street. That's how effective they are. They are so effective at just playing it at every turn. And people go, well, I saw it on Facebook, I saw it on Fox and MSNBC, so man, it must be the truth. No, it is not the truth. MSNBC and Fox News, uh, Rachel Maddow, Sean Hannity, they're both professional wrestling characters, folks. That's what they are doing. It is unbelievable to watch it in effect. It is unbelievable. And if they, when they came, first they came for the journalists, and then, you know, after that, I don't know what happened after that, because uh, everybody else was locked up, so I got no clue what they did after that. So this is why this is so important. This is, you see how effective it is. So when you come across your friends and family that just kind of repeat a talking point, don't get mad at them. Ask them questions. Here's what I ask them. Oh, really? Do you think Amnesty International and the Human Rights Watch would be supporting Julian Assange if there was even a ounce of truth to the sexual assault court claims? Do you think that they would? Do you think Amnesty International would get the... No, they would absolutely not. Why are they lying to you? Why are they telling you this? I'll tell you why. Because it's big money, baby. War is big money. That's what they want. They are controlling every single aspect. You think that they're getting rid of net neutrality? You think that's just a random coincidence? You think that's a crazy thing that's happening? Because you know who's watching right now? The goddamn internet. And they don't want the internet watching because CNN's not here. We should have this rally in front of Google or Facebook or anywhere yes. these other tech billionaires yes. are yes. who are paid to shut us down. But hey, they've got skateboard shoes and hoodies, so they must be cool. No. Yeah. Fire it up, friend. Um, that's what I'm saying. They are, they, are, they are getting every single aspect of society under their control. That is exactly what they're doing. And they want us divided. The corporate media wants us divided, distracted, and afraid. I was watching CNN before I came here. All oh, was all about Trump, Russia, Mueller, Trump, 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 or whatever. Oh man, they should be talking about that there's a meteor coming to the planet and it's called climate change, but they're not going to talk about that. We can't say anything bad against the military because they are the number one contributor of climate change is the United States Empire. So we can't have this. We can't have you. They want you. They want you divided, baby. They want you arguing about Game of Thrones or what some referee did at the NBA game or who took Tom Brady's jersey. They want you. They want you not paying attention and just repeating some meme they saw on Twitter or Facebook that says, oh, Julian this and Chelsea that. Where is the outrage from the actual journalists? Rachel Maddow is an openly gay journalist and there is a transgender vet that is in jail for telling the truth. Right. Yes. Where the hell is Rachel Maddow? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank oh, that's right. She's talking Russia, 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 right. Russia in segments that are literally sponsored by Boeing. Yeah. Wow, what a wacky right. coincidence that an arms manufacturer would be actually sponsoring a section, a segment on the corporate media so that, wow, we can have a Red Scare 2.0. The height of global defense spending was in the early 80s. The height of it was in the early 80s. Gee, suddenly we need more Russia, 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 because we'll be buying more rockets and bombs, and our allies will have to arm up, and that's why we're stacking troops up, NATO troops on the Russian border, and that's why we're trying to go to Venezuela. Weird that they have the number one oil reserves in the world, and suddenly they need some of our hot, fresh freedom jammed down their goddamn throats. <laughs> you better hope you didn't have oil in your backyard, folks, because if you do, you are suddenly a terrorist. That's what happens. If you won't give that oil up to the machine, they're going to come get you. They're going to come depose you and throw you out. Saying Julian Assange isn't a journalist 
is you, we might as well then go get a time machine and go arrest Ben Bradley for publishing the Pentagon Papers in the goddamn Washington Post. That's what we should be doing. You know the Washington Post that, that's now owned by Jeff Bezos who was paid $600 million by the CIA? Yeah, that Washington Post. They're a little different 40 years later. So that is the point. Get involved. This is not about today. This is about every... They want to control all of us. They want us afraid. It was talked about, I believe his name's Gary Webb, right? Yeah. Yes. right? What happened yes. to Gary Webb? He committed suicide by shooting himself in the head twice. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, I'm going to commit suicide by hanging myself twice, too. I'm sure that's going to happen right after this. It is a threat. We're telling you, shut up. Don't you ever think about speaking up against them because you're going to shoot yourself in the head twice if you do that. We're going to lock you up if you do that. That's what they're saying. This isn't just one rally today. This is a movement. This is people watching on the internet. These are videos that can be shared and liked and pushed out all over the place to get involved. Do not, because they want you to just go back. You can have free speech if you go to work on time and pay your taxes and don't call out the ruling class. There's not two parties in this country, there are two classes. The ruling class, and then all of us. Guess what? There are more of us than there are of them. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you.